own relationship with God. And I find somebody say, I got mine.
talking to God who said, I come that you might have life and have more abundantly. He don't want you to be poor. That's not, that don't that say much about our God. He said, I came that you might have it. Somebody said, reach up and grab it. He came that you might have life and have it. Amen. If you're poor, some, some, some of us are poor because we make poor choices. You can't have everything. I can't, I'm a jungle and I can't keep up with the jungle. Because I got to deal with something. 
something yet? Oh, I feel like Jesus. I'm trying to say that Jesus can't spend all the time with certain folk because he got to teach some people who say they're with him in order to take them to another level. And, 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 and so what you got to realize is that he had fed people and sent them off. And in that miracle, they, they didn't have any harvest food out there. Talk to him. And Jesus knew that they were hungry from following him. And so he said, listen, listen, send these people away that they might find some food for themselves. And they were in the midst of a place where there was no supermarket. And you got to remember, it was getting late in the evening. And it's probably like some of our hometown. It shut down before dark. And, I, and one, of the, uh, one of the gospels teaches us that there was a boy, talk to me somebody, who had a sack lunch. Amen. I don't know, it's good to have a good mother who knows how to prepare for her children. You don't need to go on a journey and don't have what you need. And so what happened out of all these folk, didn't nobody think about it, but one mother. And she packed a little lunch for the baby. And they said, well, ain't nobody got nothing down here but a little boy with a sack lunch out. And this is not enough among so many people in your hands is that way. But when you put it in God's hands, it becomes a mighty pit. It's when you put your little in his hand is when it becomes much. I wish I could get somebody over here to say amen. And it's when you release your stuff into the hands of people. I don't have the $2 that they give me.
was a friend that Jesus had to get along by himself. How do you think you're going to make it? And listen, y'all, I asked her, will you pray for me? Yes, I will. I hope I'm praying for you, but it's about time that you pray for Pastor. You know what? 
But because he's not on the ship with you, he got his eyes on you. Yeah. Help me somebody. See, 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 Peter could speak to the character the way he was speaking when the other folks were still in the ship. Is because if you listen, Jesus spoke to them. And Brother Keith wasn't made me shout in the sock, and then he went seeking them. But somebody tell me that they didn't call for him. He went seeking. It tells me that he knows how much. Oh, Ruby Brother, he knows. I don't have to seek him when I know him because he knows just how much he not this man. Well, Yeah. <laughs> 
She saw that thing that is there. Out of all, God.
Father God, 